Today I want to talk to you about overcoming adversity. I uh, listened to a, a recent quote that I heard, it was uh, believed to be from Benjamin Franklin. Talked about, rather you own the adversity than it own you. You own the adversity rather than own you. This quote by Benjamin Franklin is so key. Um, you know, let's say a uh, prime example is, is be prepared before something even occurs. You know, we have all your ducks lined up in a row. And uh, it's so key uh, to some parts of success. It's like seeds. I mean, the farmer, the farmer doesn't go out and, you know, use all of his seeds to, to plant in that one year. He has extra seeds. That way he knows that if, if it's not going to be a good year, the storm comes and takes his crops, well, he's going to have extra seeds for, you know, next year's planting or even the following year. And the thing is, is when people go to, to, to do something like an entrepreneur business, they expect it to, to win right off the bat. I mean, you got to have extra, you know, seeds or, or, you know, capital. I mean, that's the thing is a lot of businesses don't get off the ground because of capital. So the thing is, is you know what? Go in there and say, you know what? It's going to take some effort. Ask other people what they've been through and then go out there and then, you know, if, if, they, if it took $5,000 to get a business off the ground or $200,000, you know what? Double the numbers for that. I mean, if it costs $5,000, expect to pay $10,000. If it costs less, bonus. I mean, that's the same thing with the crop, with the farmer. Goes out and plants, has a good year. Goes out and plants again, has a good year. Goes out and plants, has a really good year. You know what? He keeps on just building momentum with that. He can say, okay, well, I'm going to go out and uh, use all these seeds that I just made from, from you know, leftover corn or whatever. You know, he puts that aside. Is he hoarding it? No. I mean, there's a difference between hoarding all the seeds together. You have to go out and replant, replant seeds. I mean, a lot of times in business that you go out there and you don't see results right away. And sometimes, you know, it, it doesn't come up till the following season. Okay, it's the same way with, with an online business is that people go out there and plant a seed or, you know, get leads or, or generate uh, uh, leads for income that way, and they, they expect a result. I mean, not all those seeds are ready at that particular time. And that's the same thing, you know, with, with business and life. I mean, with everything, as you apply that principle, um, to, to life is that you own the universe when you need the seeds to plant you know what you can go out and plant seeds and then if that doesn't work you always have a backup plan if you narrow yourself to one particular idea or one particular thing you're going to be painting yourself in a corner you know what ask yourself you know is this is this the only way and if you're asking yourself that and you're getting an answer saying well yeah you know what you need to broaden your thinking get a bigger vision for it The energy that you're putting out there is going to come back. And just like planting any seeds, you plant one seed, let's say corn, you plant one seed, you get an ear of corn, how many seeds do you get off of that one ear of corn? It's you know, hundreds, just off of that one seed. And that's the same thing uh, with our thoughts too, is that you're planting that seed, you're going to get, you know, 10 times, 100 times back for that. The other thing I wanted to share was with you put it, you put seeds in the ground for for and sometimes they don't grow. Why is it that sometimes the seeds don't grow? You, maybe they fall on maybe they fall on bad ground or something. Maybe the ground is is, is sand like like here. I mean, some, sometimes you know seeds don't grow in sand. Some seeds do. Okay, but the seed's not going to grow where it needs the foundation of the tree is in the sand, it's not, not necessarily going to grow in the sand because it's not going to have a foundation. So the big thing is, is that you know, have the foundation for that in place, nourish it, plant seeds, and uh, own your adversity. So I, I, that's the kind of the uh, advice I'm sharing today, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it.